Yeah, I just wanted to show you the books that uh, I picked up at the um, at the Valley of Village place, and I'll t um, I'll tell you, it just blows me away. Like even the size of this book, it's pretty freaking. I mean, look at that. And yeah, I wasn't stupid. I knew full well. Bring the TARDIS. Uh, that thing just no just knocks my socks off. But I think I paid maybe not even twenty five dollars Canadian for these books. And I mean, I have a significant number of them look like they've never been read. Uh, this one here, the the Lusitania one, Dead Wake, it looks, well, I mean, look at this, but uh, it'll just be, yet again, I think it'll just be fun to, I mean, I don't know whenever I'll ever get to this thing, but I was like, my God, we've talked about it enough times and whatnot, so I thought, you know, br bring it on over, but it doesn't look, oh, there's a couple of whatevers, I think those, that's just a screw up, but it doesn't, well, maybe I'm wrong. Um, anyways, that one there, and then this one looked really nice. Um, the Canadian, uh, in the footsteps of the Canadian Corps, Canada's first world war. Uh, and, um, yeah, I haven't like it. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Jeez. Um, the ghost of Amy. Holy half. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I just picked it up. So I'm, I'm looking at it as the first time the way you are. Um, oddly enough, which I think was kind of neat is that I just uh, put a hold on a book called, I think it's called, uh, tracks to trenches. And I think it's about the Canadian, hold on here, the Canadian Overseas Construction Corps that was, um, I found out in a lecture I've been listening, watching to, uh, watching, um, uh, they were instrumental in helping out the BEF, uh, I guess because uh, the Canadians were more used to building uh, temporary um uh, uh, rail structures, that type of stuff. And the, uh, the Europeans are more into permanent that anyways, it was a whole long, I was just like, wow, I can't, I, I'm going to be watching the, and listening to the lecture again for sure. Cause I want to take notes and, um, well for myself and then, uh, spurt them out to you guys. Speaking of which, I might as well show that book. So that's kind of like a good segue, but this book I actually picked up for, um, helping me, uh, take notes. It's just to remind me, actually, I, I did really good last, uh, yesterday with, um, uh, all but more a chapter, chapter five there in the Great War of Africa, Great War in Africa. And the reason being is I started uh, started going the way I would do it in university when I was back taking notes and that type of stuff, which basically I was like, OK, you read the chapter and then the next time you read the chapter, and just take the no and take notes as you're going along like straight through. I'm not reading it as a narrative type of a thing. And um, anyways, I've also been watching videos and um reading some of their material there that I you anybody can get through um <clears throat> excuse me the World War One Museum and Memorial. And um gosh my tea is gonna be super oh and on a side note Charles Satora and coffee and and I did show a bit of willpower last night in that uh I went and uh drank some rooibos tea or rooibos tea or whatever the heck it's called that stuff I was super duper crazy about a few months ago. I was like oh I'm gonna go for another coffee and I went no but on a side note, I was wired for sound afterwards. I couldn't get the flip and sleep. And that was part of the reasons why I decided to uh, bite a day today, uh, bite a day. And uh, well, I'll have to eat up one of my vacation days kind of thing. But anyways, I'm glad I did. But uh, like I was saying, with the World War One Museum and Memorial, they have a bunch of resources there for helping educators and so on and so forth. And I'm not saying I'm an educator. Or whatever but i'm like i might as well use some of their tools to impart knowledge you know on the live streams and so on and so forth this makes a lot more sense to me so i was like okay i'm going to use this to hopefully help me out with um things like the great war in africa and whatnot but i was like hey wait a minute it can also be for every other thing i mean it's just you know the way to go uh this one well this is the first one i saw we'll talk about that in a minute but this one just looks i it's probably the one i want to read the uh first out of these but it's like yeah you know to wait in line um it just looks yeah because i'm going to be i just all the stuff i keep hearing about like at the beginning like so i guess it'll be about you know the proper formation of germany and all that i mean look at this jeepers this is going to be really well let's go take a quickie look at the chap at the, the what the, the ch chapters are europe in 1880 the ancient regime Entry traditional forces. Anyways, oh my gosh, there we are. Dink, dink, dink. The Great War. Um, anyways, yeah, and then it'll just, you know, of course, like I said, it's going to be some fun stuff to read it eventually. Um, <clears throat> anyways, oh yeah, and this one here. I was like, oh, I didn't really want to pick it up, but I was like, oh, you might, you should pick it up. It and well, it was once I saw that, 
I went, oh, okay, come on, you, <laughs> are you crazy? You're not, you don't want a map, you don't want to be using, like, even if I don't want to get all into the whatever, yet again, it'll be, you know, that's going to be way off into Wonderland. This, I, I didn't even, haven't looked at, I just was like, okay, it's, you know, you, I mean, look at the thing, but, uh, wow, eh? it's almost like, so, oh my god, on a side note, I keep forgetting, I did actually have it in the queue there last week for the live stream, and that was the picture of the mothers, um, but, uh, yeah, this will be fun. Oh, wow, the Great Retreat and the Miracle of the Marne. Well, they call it the Great Retreat. Uh, I mean, my version of the Great Retreat is the, and for a lot of other people, it's the freaking Eastern Front. Oh, by the way, on a side note, I think I said in the live stream that I thought that was Haig, General Haig with um, uh, Curry and uh, the King there. Um, but actually, you know what? I think it's probably General Bing. That's who I think it is, actually. Uh, I'm going to have to go take another look at the picture. Um, oh, yeah, on a side note, two side notes, actually. Now, this book is, I think, uh, you know, it came with like some kind of commemorative, uh, super cheap DVD collection, um, you know, a hodgepodge or whatever. But, and I was looking for the credits for the photos and there's none. And from what I can see, they've made a couple of mistakes in the captions. I'll have to take a look. But I was like, um, hmm, I don't know about that one. Well, this one, I'm like, okay, I'll give you a pass on it. Uh, hold on here. Where are you? Oh, come on. It was the one with the Canadians, I think. Probably won't find it now. I should have done it. Uh, oh, nope. 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 How are you? Oh, here. That's not, that's not, uh, it says here. Prussian General of the Infantry, Eric von Falkenhayn. That's not Eric, and Va Eric von, uh, von Falkenhayn. That's not him, as far as I know. Um, I'm going to go take a look again. That certainly ain't his... Uh, pretty sure that's uh, one of the Moltkes. Uh, uh, maybe a Moltke the, old, uh, the Elder. But uh, that's not Falkenhayn, as far as I'm sure. No, uh, he looked a lot different than that. Um, maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Hold on. Yeah, the only other thing was a shot of some Canadians going over a trench and they kind of and they say, oh, Canadians going over the top, but they put in quotes in a trench, uh, at a trench or whatever. And uh, yeah, I guess technically it is, but I know from because I've seen that picture a few times before and other things that it, that was a staged photo. It wasn't, there's no Germans on the other side of the whatever. It was. Uh, you know, I don't, I mean, it could have been taken in Europe, but I don't think it was, or it could have been in England or whatever. You know what I'm going to say though? This is what my final little bit. I swear to God, these two things are like freaking meant to be together. The map and, um, the whatever. Yeah, I do. I think I'm going to have to put back some Dave Schroeder something or other. Or I just, I want people, if they watch the video, I, I mean, always give credit, um, to that, even though I'm not playing the game officially the way it is, but I'm telling you. Having my arms outstretched on this thing, staring at, like, staring down on the map has just been, oh, just so much flipping fun, and I'm just starting. I, I just, it, it just amazes me, it's, uh, how this is stuff is just manifesting, and, uh, okay, that's it, really, um, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I could probably babble, as you know, but, um, that's it, hope you're having a great time, see ya.